In this video, uh, we've got the region between the curve y equals e to the 3x, the x-axis and the lines x equals 1 and x equals 3 is rotated through 360 degrees about the x-axis. Find the volume of revolution which is formed. So here is the curve e to the 3x and we're going to rotate just that piece around the x-axis and we're going to determine the exact volume that is formed. Okay, so because we're rotating about the x-axis, we use the integral of pi y squared dx. So it's going to be the integral between 1 and 3 of pi y squared dx. Now y is e to the 3x, so we can write that as pi times e to the 3x all squared dx. So we can bring the pi out of the integral, we can leave it inside. I generally prefer to bring it outside. So pi times the integral between 1 and 3 of e to the 3x squared, which is e to the 6x dx. So integrating that, we're going to have pi times 1 sixth e to the 6x evaluated between 1 and 3. And then I'm going to substitute in my limits. We're going to have 1 sixth e to the power of 6 times 3, so 18. Take away, substituting the 1, 1 sixth e to the 6. OK, so a uh, way to simplify that, well, I can factor out, I mean, there are different ways of kind of writing this, um, depending on how, fact, how much you want to factor out. Um, I've got the pi already outside, so it makes sense to bring the 1 sixth outside. So you could write that as pi over 6 e to the 18 take away e to the 6. You could also factor e to the 6 out as well. So pi over 6 times uh, e to the 12 take away 1 times e to the 6. You could write it like that as well. Um, but depending on whether the question is asking you to write it in a particular form or write it to three significant figures, um, you just got to follow what the question is looking for.